Hello. I'm going to open a terminal here. And I'm going to type in notify TAC or, or dash send and say test. What's that going to do? That's going to bring up the uh, on screen display notify. As you can see here. And I've also changed the color just for the purposes of being weird. <laughs> uh, it doesn't accept too many characters, so you go like, uh, you can't have like a letter written out, but you can say welcome. to Ubuntu maybe no so you can try say Ubuntu 12.04 will work so it doesn't accept too many uh, characters okay so what we have to do is go on the internet um, I think I have the packages up here yep uh, he's this guy has written a great on-screen notify um, application that you can kind of uh, mess around with. Um, I'll put the direct link in the description and also links to the reference here. Um, so he has AMD and 32-bit, uh, so 64-bit and 32-bit builds. Um, and this is for uh, 11.04 as you see here very important you choose this natty not or orneric or what however you said that very important to say natty okay again I'll I'll put the direct link in so you choose either one of these so if you're using 64 this one 32 this one once you have that downloaded um, if I can remember that, yes, you have to do uh, a couple of things. Again, I'll put this this into the description. I'll zoom in as much as I can without losing too much focus on this. Is uh, do a sudo dpackage, um, then a couple of operation things, and the file you've downloaded. So you would change the directory where you're downloaded, such as downloads. Type this into the terminal if it's 64 and type this part if it's 32. Okay, now with that out of the way, uh, you have to open, um, if you don't already have, don't already have uh, Synaptic Package Manager, um, it's a good idea to download it anyway. Synaptic Package Manager, and I'll open that up from here, and you have to type in your uh, login password type of thing. And once that finishes building its uh, search index, okay, you type in notif notify dash OSD. As you can see here, it's good. Okay, it's locked. So what you, what you have to do is you do have to lock it, lock it, lock the version so it doesn't try to update. So make sure locked version is checked. Okay. It wouldn't let me. How come package locked version? And once you don't do that, um, it should be okay um, to install. Now, uh, the next package is, uh, da, 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 where would it be? I'm going to have to find my notes here because there's a lot of, is on, uh, oh, um, these are direct links. You need another package for configuration, so it's a web web update. Um, it's a launchpad site. And again, you have to filter the series to Natty because that's very important. Actually, that's the last one they made, I think, as far as I know. So go to that, uh, and there's the packages there, and it's the same thing, 64-bit or i386 for 32-bit 
and that you just open uh, you just double click on the package once you download it wherever it's downloaded and install it okay now with that um, we can start uh, messing around with this for one actually let's uh let's uh, once that's installed the configuration you can start OSD notify configuration aha and this is Ubuntu 1204 okay like I said I chose a weird background color you can choose it to uh, what a blue when you hit apply it goes it comes up you can also say how many seconds like one that's pretty good actually I like that better and you can change the text color positioning dynamic this is the settings again I'll put these in the notes okay and so you have to type in this up to here in your terminal so hopefully I can copy and paste that <sighs> sorry okay um, I, I guess I had another space. So each each one you have to put a number. So number one is the default top right. Number two is middle. And then as you can see, it goes down bottom right corner, bottom left corner, middle left, top left corner. So I go back to where is my terminal? There he is. Um, let's do something radical. Let's uh, top left corner. And then if I key up a bit. There it is there. Okay, that went by pretty quick. So we'll go back to our notify. So it's two different programs. And let's make it back to three seconds. So just there we go. Three, two, three. Close this and then notify dash send a bun to whatever you want to type, just as long as it's not too long. And now it's on the basically the top left okay I like this because I find I think the default is 10 seconds and it's cool that it that the new um, version changes with the color of your background and stuff but I like to have a little more customization in there so exit the terminal uh, I'll just quit that or will let me control quit no now it's control W okay and let me think make sure yeah and I'll put all this stuff in the notes anyway so uh, I hope you found found this useful um, I like I said that the notification screen is fine but I found it a bit too long and I like to kind of mess around because uh, uh, with the colors and maybe the text and stuff so I hope you found this useful as I said and uh, feel free to comment and uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and have a good one and bye for now.